Alright, what's going on everyone? I'm going to be reviewing the Vivitar Action Sports Grip, which I have here, but this is not an unboxing, I have it right over here. Let's get to it. So, so I picked up this handheld stabilizer for about a month ago on eBay for around $20, and it seems to be working very well. It is a decent size, pretty light, and the grip is not too bad when I'm filming. It comes with this GoPro mount which I have connected on my GoPro Hero 4. This one right here. If I could screw it on to this part because the GoPro obviously you can't screw it on. And it also comes with this unscrewable piece here which is so you can mount on a light, a mic or other accessories. Alright now I'm gonna mount it Alright guys, so this is how it looks with my GoPro mounted on it. The stabilization is pretty good and all, but it's best if you add some weight to it. I personally don't have any weight on it because it seems to work pretty good for me. I like how it has two parts here on the sides. So you can just place it down and, you can, and your camera doesn't just flip all over and fall on its side. Well, pretty much... When I film, I stay close and tip it upward and catch the skater right in the middle. I got a few clips that I'm going to show you so you can better get an understanding of how good the stabilization on it is. And I'm going to show you that at the end of the video. But before that, I'm going to show you how it would look if a bigger camera was placed onto it to give you a better size representation. So, I'm going to screw on different camera and I'll show you how it looks. Alright so now I have a bigger camera mounted onto the Vivitar Action Sports Grip. Here it is. Just so you can get a better understanding of how big the grip is so if you're planning to get this grip then you know if your camera will fit on it. Because you know a lot of people don't film with the GoPros and you have bigger cameras. Um, by the way if you're wondering this camera is a Canon power shot. So here it is again and don't forget to hit that like button guys if you enjoyed and stay tuned by the end of the video so I can show you some footage I got on the GoPro and to see how good the stabilization actually is before you attempt to get this. We'll see you guys later.